All right, Shalom, giving all praises and glory and honor to you. How about you, Shai? Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who go well with honors and diligence, all right? And peace and salutations to every brother, preaching the truth throughout the four corners of the earth with truth and sincerity in the hearts, all right, for the love of the gospel. All right, this is the brother Shamaria at the Indiana Camp, Jimmy's Indiana, all right? Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa Shai, all right? And I'm going to do another lesson. Um pertaining to a quote by Bruce Lee. And the quote was, Do not pray and do not pray for an easy life. Pray for the strength to endure a hard one, a difficult one. Alright? And that's biblical. And so in other words, it's saying the same message in the King James Bible. Now this is in the Apocrypha, Ecclesiastes two. This is in the Apocrypha, alright? Which is the complete version of the Bible. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the app just in case you didn't see it. This is the Apocrypha app, just in case. You know, it's this one in the top right corner. All right. I'm going to go on that app. This, this is the Sirach, better known as um, Ecclesiasticus. It says, my uh, two on one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thine soul for temptation. Set uh, set thy heart aright. Now, what's temptation? All right, tempting you to leave the truth. All right. That's temptation. Satan, that's Satan's whole, whole job is to keep you further from the Lord. Okay. So if you endure temptation, I mean, it's like when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right. So prepare to go through hell to bring you out of the truth. Verse two. It says, set thine heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. All right. How do you set your heart aright? You follow the law, statutes and commandments and you put your entire trust into the Lord. All right. You put your entire trust into the Lord and you and you follow his law, statutes and commandments. All right. That's how you set your heart aright. You follow what he said. It says, and constantly endure. And that's in his word, man. Like I just, uh, let me get, it says, and constantly endure. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 38. It says, and he that taketh not his cross and followeth, and, and followeth after me is not worthy of me. All right? He that findeth his life shall lose it. Okay, let's go to the first part again. He that taketh not his cross. What's that talking about, man? That, that cross stands for a burden, all right? He that take up not his burden is not worthy of me, all right? And I got a precept for that, and um, so I just I just read to you a precept for that in the Apocrypha and Ecclesiasticus, you know? So that verifies itself, man, because the scripture says precepts must be upon precept, line upon line, all right? Here a little, here a little, there a little. That's how you know it's true, because it, it's saying the same thing in two different time periods, all right? Now, um, actually, when I read the next verse two, it says, "He uh, and followeth after me is not worthy of me." So, if you don't take your cross and you don't follow after the Lord and do what He or do do what He did to the best of your ability, then you won't be worthy of Him to save you. All right, you won't be worthy to sit at His right hand. You won't be worthy to um, be the first fruits in the kingdom of heaven. All right, this is uh, verse thirty nine. He that findeth his life shall lose it. All right, and what is that talking about, man? In this world, this present world today, he that findeth his life shall lose it. All right, because if you find your life and not the path that the Lord wants you to go down, because we're not supposed to find our life, all right? Not in America, not in Babylon, you know? We're not supposed to find anything delighting in this life. We're not supposed to seek our comfort and our consolation in this life, you know? This is uh, Micah chapter 2 verse 10 and it says arise ye and depart for this is not your rest like I said that rest means your constellation alright this is not your dwelling place alright you don't want to get comfortable in this society because it's, because it's society because it is polluted alright it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction because you take on the uh, you take on the philosophy that it's life because you don't want to go through hell all right, because you can't you can't endure the problems that the Lord endured. You can't take up your cross or your burden. So you go out and you find something appealing to this life where you can forget about the Lord. You know, so arise ye and depart. You know, so he that find his life shall shall lose it. Oh, shall I can. That's not the, that's the wrong one. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. All right? 
that he that loses his life for my sake, for the Lord's sake, this is a red. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. You know, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, this is Yahweh, uh, this is um, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which in translation in English it would be Jesus Christ. You know? It's a. Uh, he that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life shall find it. Shall find it because we in the kingdom of heaven, that's going to be true living. You know, that's going to be real living. That's going to be true living. You know, back to that uh, Sirach. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. So don't rush and try to get it done just because you're going through trouble. It says make not haste means be calm. Rely on the Lord. When you rely on the Lord, you know, you're going to worry a little bit, but you got to beat that. You got to fight that. You got to not worry about it and put it all into the hands of the Lord. Now you still got to work towards it. You know, you still got to put in effort, all right, to get out of the hell you're in, you know. But you can't can't uh, make haste like I got to hurry up and get this done. Or I can't, I ain't never going to happen for me, you know. Maybe not have some time of trouble. And when you're rushing nine times out of ten, you usually uh, make errors and um, make accidents. Accidents usually happen nine times out of ten. It happens when you're rushing. So make not haste in time of trouble. Relax and let the Lord provide, you know. Verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at by the last end. The last end is when like, we get when we get into the kingdom, man. We're going to be increased at the last end, man. And it's going to be when we're going through this hell. Uh, when, on the day of Jacob's trouble, all right, the Lord's going to increase us, man. He's going to put his spirit upon us to endure that, you know, his, his hopeful elect, you know. Um, because why we cleaved unto him verse 4 whosoever is brought uh, upon thee take cheerfully whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state see when you change to a lower state you're impatient you, you get it you, you, you start to lose sight you know you can't wait anymore so that's why I said make not haste in time of trouble in that second verse alright verse 4 for gold is tried in the fire and accept the wind in the furnace of adversity gold is tried in the fire to purify it you know that's the only way to purify gold is to burn it so are we so like i said um i had heard something before when it said um the only way to get something pure out of something else is to crush it put pressure on it he used um wine and you know olive oil to get to get orange juice to get apple juice to get uh, wine to get you know uh olive oil you gotta put pressure on the olive or the or the grape or the apple or the orange, you know, you gotta put you gotta apply that pressure. So that's why we gotta go through this this hell, man, to to receive the kingdom to come, and that's gonna be our consolation, you know. Verse six, it says, "Believe in him, and he will help thee." What if I way or right and trust in him? All right, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Wait for his mercy. Be patient. All right, when I'll change to a lower state, when you're going through the furnace of adversity. All right. Be, be patient and wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall all right so when you're going you got to find your own way in this life you got to find your constellation right now because the lord taking too long for you all right so you go aside and then you fall into that condemnation which is the icbm nuclear missiles ultimately right i mean all right it's the icbm nuclear missiles ultimately but something else could be your constellation you still fall you know verse eight you know, I'm going to end it right there. Um, let me get another precept. Matthew 16 and 24. All right. Matthew, the 16th chapter, and the 24th verse says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, Any man will come, any man will come after me, the, the, uh, if, Salakia, I didn't see that, if, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow after me. Now what that word deny mean? We're gonna go into the my sword. Oh, what scripture was that? It was 16 and 24. Yes, this is the book of Matthews, chapter 16, verse 24. It says deny. What's the word for deny? Make sure I click the right one. It says to deny, to affirm that one is no, uh, no, uh, 
inquisitive or connection with someone to forget oneself, all right? To lose sight of oneself and one's own interests. So it's not about us. You know, it's not about us. It's not about what we see. If it was, then we would fall because we would find our consolation in this life that is right now, which is Babylon, you know? It's confusion. It's not of the Lord. I just read to you on Micah 2 and 10, you know, um, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest, but it, it will, you know, it is polluted. It will destroy you even with a sore destruction. All right. So it says to forget oneself, to lose sight of oneself or one's own interests. Deny utterly, that is, dis disown, abstain. Or we abstain from evil. All right. And the scripture says that. And take it says deny himself and take up his cross and follow and follow me. After that it said in Yahweh Shai, um, it says for verse twenty five, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. So that, like I said, if we, you know, you um, it says it, it says save his life because in your own eyes you have saved your life. You know if you if you take up the, the customs and the and the practices of this current life. You, 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 in your own mind, you've saved your life because you don't have to go through any hell no more. You found your comfort, your constellation. Constellation. Whosoever will save his life shall lose it. In the end, you're going to lose it because you're not going to get, um, you're not going to get beamed up into the chariots and ice to be a nuclear come, uh, nuclear missiles come. You're not going to be, uh, you're not going to have salvation. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. You know, whosoever shall lose his life for my sake, so we die for the Lord, we're going to find our life in the one to come, which is an everlasting life, you know? All right. Uh, I mean, Revelations 12, 12 and 11. It says, Revelations 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they... Love not their lives until death. All right, what is it talking about? It's talking about the prophets, man. You know, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. They were saved through Yahweh Shai, you know, by the word of their testimony, you know, giving, giving testimony to the Lord, man. You know, They're going on the highways and byways prophesying, you know, giving our testimonies of how the Lord delivered us from every, you know, different situations. We, we, we're, we're confessing our Savior openly. All right, and they love not their lives until death, you know. That's what it means to deny yourself, man. All right, um, Second Timothy. Second Timothy two and three. Therefore, endure a heart. Second Timothy two and three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, so endure hardness as a good soldier of the Lord. And soldiers don't care about their own lives, man. When they're on the battlefield, they say, "Fuck my life! I gotta, I gotta, I gotta risk my life to get the to get the greater cause." You know, I gotta risk my life for the greater good. That's the mindset of a soldier. So it says, "Therefore endure hardness as a good soldier." So we don't have to go through hell. All right. Um, that's about all I had. All right. So uh, with that, I'm going to give you know, double honors again to the apostles and the elders of GMS. All right. I'm going to give uh, shalom and peace and salutations to you brothers. Uh, all right. Preaching the truth about the four corners of the, of the, of the earth. All right. And I want to give uh, peace and salutations to you, Aqua. You know, few that there be that try their best to follow the Lord. You know. And I hope this video is edifying to the elect and the elect only. And um, until next time, I'll say shalom.